Welcome to Vancouver Island Regional Library's Filmora Training. Episode 2. Adding Media. Preview a clip. Select portions of a clip. Add media to the timeline. Size timeline clips up and down. So the first thing we're going to do is add media to our project. So you can either drop and drag it here into the media section, or we can also click the media area to import it from our computer. So we'll click that, and you'll be prompted to browse your computer to find the files you want. So we already have this particular file folder open, so you can see what we're looking for. It's good to make sure that your clips are labeled according to what they entail. For example, we have the following. We have an opener, step one, step two, step three, and some photos that we want to add as well. This makes it easy to find our footage and organize it later. As we mentioned in our introductory video, media must be held locally on your computer while you're working on the project. Filmora connects to the location of the media when working with it. So this means it either needs to live on your desktop or if you have the media on a USB, you need to have the USB plugged in when using Filmora. So what we'll do to add it, to add more than one, we'll press and hold control on our keyboard and click our files like so, and then open there. And then you get those two. I'm also going to come down here to our file folder, which is open and select our step two, press control, add step three, and our photos. And I'm going to click and drag and drop them all in. So now we have everything that we want. To preview a clip, we're going to double click it and you'll see it appear here in the media viewer. To add a whole clip, you would drag and drop into the media timeline here, anywhere on the timeline, or you could press the plus sign. We can cut pieces of the video uh, later after we did that. To select a part of your clip and add it to the timeline, we're going to make sure to add the in and out points of the video. So we can either do that by selecting the mark in and mark out points here. So we could select it like so, or we can move the in and out point sliders like so. While you're doing this, we need to make sure that this play icon is along the line enough to where we want our in and out points to be. So if it was here, we could mark our in point anywhere along here. Or if we were to select the mark in icon here, it automatically goes to where that play is going to start. And it's the same as if we were going to do the mark out. But if we kind of want to play around with it a little bit, then we can move it around like so. If we wanted to add just this section to our timeline, we would click, hold, and drag that into our timeline. Again, anywhere where we would want it to go. You'll notice that it's coming over here to the video viewer here, not on the second line for music. So for now, I'm going to delete that because I want to add the whole video to my timeline. And we'll put it right there. If you select the plus sign, the media will be added to where the playhead, which is this red line, is in the timeline. So you can see it added like so. So to start, we're going to place our key video clips in the timeline to get our story built. And I'm going to move this step one so it connects right to my opener. Then I want my step two. And lastly, my step three is what I'm going to want. You also might want to change the size of your clips in the timeline to either select a specific part of a clip or to cut in or cue transitions, elements, titles, music, and other items. To change the size of the clips in your timeline, you're going to select the zoom in and zoom out slider that's over here to the right hand side underneath the media previewer. So we can make them smaller or we can make them a lot larger. 
be mindful that your project might not actually fit within the constraints of the timeline window if they're really long, like so. So you might have to move along the scroller like this. For this project, we have several shots that will connect together to tell our story. These clips have some mistakes that I want to cut out, so I'll be chopping up my clips into even smaller clips. The first thing that I'll have to do is do color correction. This will make sure that it's bright enough, there isn't overexposure, and other things. This is counterintuitive to, to traditional video editing best practices. However, in Filmora, you cannot copy color correction from one clip to another, nor can you select several clips at once to complete color correction. You can follow along with this in our next video.